These guys were my brothers in arms at one point until they turned. So they're all army rangers. I'm sure they appreciate death by a K bar Tonto. It's a worthy way for them to die. Sorry, guys. We're going to leave the coffee grounds. Very good. All right, we're making pretty good progress here, guys. Um, these are, these are iron. Let's break these and give ourselves a direct path over to our escape route. <laughs> Look at that. We can e even make the jump with our parkour. Isn't that amazing? Okay. Let's continue on here. That door's unlocked. All right, I think it's, um, I think it's blocked on this side. Let's go up there real quick. Well, we can't get any further than that anyway. That door's unlocked. And that door's unlocked. Backpack. Uh, nope. Don't care about any of that stuff. You know what, though? I have, um, I have some club mods back at the base that if we put one of them on there, that would increase the value of this. Oh, wait, it has no sell price. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Okay, none of that stuff's lootable. Let's check in here. Oh, that wants us to go outside. Probably Zombo in there. She did. Scrap that. Uh, I'm going to take the corn seed. Nothing in there. I guess we'll wrench this. Okay, let's see what's in here. It's a Darlene. And a business guy. I think he's normal. Yeah, he's just normal. Oh, I, I, I ca always call the construction guy business guy. I don't know why. I mean, I guess he's a business guy, too. Maybe he's a general contractor. All right, there's still another sleeper in here somewhere. I can hear him. Where the hell would they be, though? Behind that counter over there, probably. Let's eat those. Okay, what we're going to do is go around this way and see if we can get a sneaky snake off. Oh. I thought I heard another sleeper in here. Maybe not. Okay. 
eventually we'll get the, um, uh, you know, sneak over trash book and then we won't have to worry about picking that crap up. Though it can be a good source of paper, plastic, and glass, though. Glass is needed for crafting, like, scopes and things. Right. I think we... I think we kind of did this bass backwards. That was the sleeper I was hearing. Nope, don't care about that. Get the water. Nope. If there was water. All right, I think that's it for here. And so let's move on and go out this way. Wants us to go in here. Probably so I'll go in there, maybe. I think that's a corpse out there in the hallway. He did. Um, nope, I don't, yeah, I guess we have some plastic in our inventory. I guess we'll harvest this, might as well. Clothing. Yes, sir, we will take those. We're going to be all about military armor when the time comes that we can make it. Let's take one of these to top off our axe here. Sleeping bag. All right, let's clear this crap out of here. Have a little sip of coffee in real life. That door's locked. Ammo pile. Yes. We like ammo. Don't care about those right now. Oh, we'll take those. That door's locked also. Okay, up the stairs we go. Now, if memory serves me correctly, there is a trap right there that drops us down into a room with a bunch of nasties. Who are we dealing with? Another Darlene. Oh, another Darlene and a Tom Clark. And... Who is this? Another Darlene. This is the house of Darlene's. Okay, so we killed all those dudes and dudettes. Uh, we'll take that. Anything behind here? Nope. All right. Yeah, so there's a trap here. And we're not falling for it. We're not falling for it, and we're not falling in it. Those are just normals. Let's grab this. Another bow. We can make wooden bow quality far. Okay, so that means we can now make a better wooden bow than we currently have. We, of course, won't worry about that until we get back to the base. <coughs> but when we do, if, as long as we have enough bow parts, uh, we will do that. Then there used to be spikes down here, too. Thought there were, but I might be mistaken about that. Okay, so... I think we also get ambushed by Zeke's in that room, too. Um, here. 
going to be over in that corner. Let's break through this door here. Yeah, this is, I think this is the room that you fall into. Yep. House of Darlene's. Oh, there's a couple, uh, a couple of bad guys in here. Yeah, go to that door. That is really what I want you to do. Let's block that. Hawaii Five-O can one-shot this block, so we need to keep him stun-locked and let the bleeds work on him. There you go, big boy. Oh, is that that's like a two-way door thingy? And we got a sports bag. Um, what are we currently wearing? We're wearing blue. All right, a little upgrade there for us. Let's um repair this. And you know what? I think we'll repair this and see if we can put a mod on it and sell it because it's actually worth a decent amount of, of bank there. Very good. Okay. Oh, that's how you get out, right? Okay. All right. We are now okay to proceed through here. We've already killed the sleepers in this immediate vicinity. Check the toity. Um, nope. I'm not taking any of that stuff. And now we're back out here. All right. I think another ambush is coming up. So let's, um, be, get prepared for it. If this is where I th think it occurs. Before we let's close this door here. Yeah, I knew it. Well, maybe not an, a big ambush, but Nurse Nancy. Let's go. Oh. Let's just put that there for the moment. Uh, and I want to look in here real quick. Okay, we'll scrap that and take the military armor parts. We're finding a lot of military armor parts in this place. We could take the bed apart for some loot skis, but I don't think I will. House of Darlene. I think that's what we're going to name this uh, this uh, episode, the House of Darlene. Okay, let's check this stuff in here. Uh, what is that? Seeds. So we can now make cotton seeds. Yay. <laughs> and another bow magazine. More military parts. That's worth keeping and selling. More books here. Handguns. All right, I think that's it. I'm not going to wrench that. I'm just going to scrap it.
out on the porch. Okay, we are getting close to the end here. We're going to have a gnarly fight on our hands up in the attic, though. So let's kind of do some pre-pairing for it. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? Let's put a hatch down here. Good. We'll put that there. And if it looks like the hatch is going to be compromised, we'll put another one here. So we have a second fallback. We've got to be strategic about these ladies, this situation, ladies and gentlemen. And if that fails, I mean, I don't, I don't think it'll be that bad, but it might. We could also bail off of here if it really went south on us. Yeah, if we can't kill them in, in two hatches, then we'll we'll just bail off here. Let's get that out of the way. We can jump down onto that roof and get down to the ground. Because we don't have to kill these guys. This isn't a, a job. This is just a random loot session. So what do we get from that? Uh, just iron. All right, let's do this. If we're really fortunate we can get you know dispatch several of them with some sneaky sneaks without waking them all up but that doesn't usually happen because a lot of these are trigger based and it doesn't matter how stealthy you are once you get into the trigger zone it happens no no matter what okay i don't think we can shoot through stair railings so let's see if we can get enough around enough to get marlene That should be good. Okay. There might be a Zeke here. Nope. Okay, this is all clear. I'm not going to take the hop seat. somebody Ooh, that's military guy. He's he's tough. Um all right. Let's pop him and then run down and pop our hatch. Yeah, we woke up more than one. Oh, well, there you go. Another military guy. Oh, he's feral. Let's get those bleeds going. Okay, let's make sure this is it. What the hell, man? This is the house of military and Darlene. At least these ones aren't feral. These guys were my brothers in arms at one point until they turned. So they're all army rangers. I'm sure they appreciate death by a K bar Tonto. It's a worthy way for them to die. Sorry, guys. Okay. Well, that went um pretty smooth, all things considered. I don't think we're done yet, though. Maybe we are. Um, let's let's go ahead and just take a bandage anyways. Let's see if there's anything behind here. Doesn't look like it. That actually might have been oh nope. Definitely not all of them. There's the loot there, or some of the loot. This is an, a really big attic. Oh, 
Okay. Death by Ranger sidearm is also an honorable death, too. Those guts hanging out are just disgusting. <laughs> There's a foot there. That's a hazmat dude. Oh, he's feral. I wonder it took so many rounds to kill him. Yikes. Yikesers. We get 2250 XP for those feral kills, though. Do I have paper in my inventory? I don't. You know what? We're close enough to the end, though. Let's just grab it. We have all of our lockpicks. Good. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure if we're finished here yet with zombies. Let's just assume we're not. Wasn't there something in up in here too, or am I just imagining things? No, I guess not. I guess we're done. Okay. What is this? Oh, glass, yeah. All right, you guys. Well, that uh, that went way smoother than I uh, was anticipating, but we were also very careful and very tacti uh, uh, tact to tactful? Tactful. Tactics. <laughs> I'm not drunk, I promise. Um, so, yeah, that went super well. Okay. I'm just going to scrap this because... I want to save some space for all this loot we're going to get. Let's see, do the food first. Uh, not going to take those things because we just don't need to. Um, we'll get 10 food, but we'll lose 5 hydration. Yeah, so let's not do that. Let's open the cracker book. Tactful. Tactful. Oh, double pocket mods, maybe? No. Oh, that's dusters, though. Okay, that's not a bad one either. 1% one more damage per hit until you miss. That's good. And handguns. All right, that was pretty good stuff. Let's see what's in the Savage Country box. Bow parts. We'll take them. Bookcase. Yeah, okay. Paper. Ammo pile. Shoddy Messiah crate. Handguns and some spear parts, which we'll probably just end up selling. And let's see if we can luck out and open this thing up with four lockpicks, I think we have. not, we're going to be banging on it. We didn't come all this way to not open this thing up. Look at that. Let's put these on. I should have actually put those on earlier, but... At least I remembered for the main loot. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, pretty decent stuff overall, I suppose. Harvesting tools. This will actually be good for for desert, uh, for going into the desert. This is def definitely going to be worth repairing and, if possible, put a mod on it to sell it. And then we'll make a little bit of bank, uh, 600 coin from that too. Remember, um, Trader Wrecked has that green, um, not SMG, but assault rifle, the vanilla one. So we might actually see if we can raise enough coin to buy that from him. But if we're going to do that, we need to do it quickly because, um, he's going to uh, reset at some point. I'm not exactly sure when. All right, you guys. Well, 
that was fun and profitable. But because of the fact that I want to... I'm going to have to figure out what's going to stay and what's going to go. Um, I want to see if I can get that assault rifle from him. Uh, we need to go back home and see if we can raise enough money to do that before he resets. Okay. If you break it, you buy it. Let's um, sell a couple things to him straight up. That, that way we're going to hang on to and repair. This we were probably going to put on a more valuable headpiece that needs to be repaired with a mod hopefully <clears throat> on it um we'll sell them the headlights and uh, the silver okay so that gets us up to to ten thousand coin and he restocks on day 13 what is it thanks buddy ah oh, shoot he's gonna restock tomorrow yeah all right well that's too bad, but there's nothing we can do about it. There's no way we're going to be able to raise. Uh, what does it cost for this thing? Yeah. <laughs> we need almost another 5,000 coin uh, to be able to afford that. Um, and that will be gone tomorrow. So, I mean, he might have something else there, of course, but uh, we can sell these. I'm pretty sure we don't have any, any extra coin back at the at our base, too. Okay, well, it is what it is. We'll we'll have other opportunities, of course, as time goes on. Um, and no refunds. Deal's done. Do we have now a now? Beat it, fucker. Do we have a job from you? You rude son of a bitch. Yeah, we do. Um, oh, we have we have this opening trade routes that we've had forever too. But we'll do that. Probably do that after Horde Night 14. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. I'm going to go back to Ranger Station Delta and get situated, maybe harvest some resources overnight or something like that. And then in the morning, we will check Rex's new inventory and then go do this infested quest. And uh, like I said, I think we're going to just stay in this area and keep working this town until uh, the end of uh, Horde Night 14. And on day 15, we'll set out and probably go do this opening trade routes and uncover some new territory and look for some new stations and our army camps that we can uh, restore. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye.